Hi, m i y a s a n Konnichiwa. Welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be reading through an article on a website called matcha.jp, and this is about kapseru hoteru. Now, this is a bit of a tricky article. We've got a lot of、uh, tricky vocab in here, okay? But I'll be showing the vocab on screen, so have a look at it through there. And we'll be going through the grammar mainly so we can understand how is this vocabulary, this unfamiliar vocabulary, used together with grammar to help convey. Things that the article wants to convey. As always, I've got the lesson sheet that you can find in the YouTube description box down below. Okay, so we've got our sheet, and within this、um, document, you can find a link to the article itself as well as the vocabulary. Okay, so here's our article. Here we can see our kapseru hoteru.、Um, just as a bit of background, I have actually stayed in one of these before. so... 2010年、uh, 2月かな2月カプセルあの札幌のカプセルホテルに泊まりましたあのすすきのカプセルホテルに、うん、I can't remember what it was called but it was in すすきの place in 札幌 OK 男に泊まれる日本発祥カプセルホテルの設備と利用マナー日本独自の宿泊施設にカプセルホテルがあります。カプセルホテルはカプセルのような一人分のスペースにベッドが用意された宿泊施設。一般的なホテルと比べリーズナブルに泊まれます。本記事ではカプセルホテルの設備やマナーについて紹介します。日本発祥の安宿カプセルホテル。カプセルホテルとは箱型の個室に1人分のベッドが用意されている宿泊施設。1979年に大阪で世界初のカプセルホテルが開業したことをきっかけに日本各地へ広まりました。リーズナブルな価格帯でありながらセキュリティもしっかりしているため宿泊費を抑えて安全な場所に泊まりたい時におすすめです。アメニティも完備されており、快適に過ごせます。もともとは寝るためだけの簡易的な施設でしたが、今ではおしゃれなデザインやサムライや忍者をテーマにした個性的なカプセルホテルも登場。ホテルでも旅館でもない現代日本のニーズが生んだ極小のホテルは、訪日観光客にも日本らしい体験ができると好評です。平均宿泊料。1泊おおよそ2000円から6000円。平均で3000円ほどです。And just as a aside here,、um, I'm pretty sure the one I stayed in, it was 2000。2500円ですね。1泊で。Pretty sure that's correct, but it was Nine years ago now, so I can't really remember. <laughs> 男性専用、女性専用のホテルに注意。日本のカプセルホテルの中には男性,、uh, 男性専用、女性専用の施設があります。主に男性専用が多く作られているので、予約の際に宿泊可能かご確認ください。男女どちらも泊まれる場所では、フロアごと男性専用、性専用、女性専用と分かれている場合があります。カプセルホテルの設備。各個室は一人が眠れるぐらいのスペースですが、一晩過ごすのに必要な設備は整っています。また、共有スペースとして大浴場やサウナを併設しているところも多くあります。ホテルによって状況は異なりますが、多くのカプセルホテルではバスタオルとフェイスタオル、ナイトウェアを各人に準備しています。共有スペースには石鹸やシャンプーなど基本的な衛生用品、シャンプー、歯ブラシ、ドライヤーもありますので快適に過ごせます。Wi-Fi のあるカプセルホテルが増えましたが、公式 HP などで事前に Wi-Fi 有無、を確認しておくと安心です。食事は各ホテルによる
、カプセルホテルの多くには食事がありません。食事は外で済ませるか、コンビニやスーパーを利用しましょう。まれにレストランを併設している施設もあります。カプセルホテルでのマナー。カプセルホテルを利用する際には、火器を注意してください。音に気をつけて静かに過ごそう。宿泊がメインのカプセルホテル。眠,眠っている人の迷惑にならないよう、大きな音は立てないように気をつけましょう。目覚まし時計の音も小さめに、また電話をするときは共用スペースに移動してください。個室での飲食可否は事前にチェック。ホテルによっては個室での飲食を禁止しているところもあります。事前に確認するか、共用スペースで食事をとるようにしましょう。荷物はロッカーに預ける。各個室の入り口にはドアやのれんがありますが、鍵がかかりません。そのためカプセルホテルの多くは、共用スペースにロッカーを置いたり、コインロッカーを併設したりしています。大きな荷物はコインロッカーまたはホテルのフロントに預け通路や個室の前には置かないようにしましょうカプセルホテルはこんな人におすすめ一人旅で宿泊費を安く抑えたいしかしドミトリースタイルは苦手な方にはぴったりのカプセルホテルアメネティも充実しているので突然の宿泊にも便利ですまた、カフェと併設していたり、ワークスペースが用意されていたり、スタイルリッシュでコンセプトのある施設も増えました。旅行の際は、日本発祥のカプセルホテルにぜひ泊まってみてください。Okay, so we saw we've got quite a lot of、uh, words here、um, that are probably are new for a lot of people, and I would say Really, a lot of these words are probably, you know, even JLPT N1.、Uh, you, I mean, I don't have N1 yet and I'm studying for it, but definitely、um, this, this article did test my vocabulary just a little bit. But we can kind of safely ignore some of these words because they're not super useful to know, to be honest. But we will look at、um, some words which do get repeated quite a lot. So, first, we got otokuni. Um, this is a bit of a set phrase. Now, if you've spent some time in Japan, you're probably a lot more familiar with this word because you'll see this in shops all the time because this means、um, value or a bargain or something. Otoku desu. It tends to get written in katakana a lot as well. Otoku. And now we got tomareru. Okay. Now, tomareru, which as soon as we see redu like this, this should kind of trigger our brain to go, oh, this could be very likely a potential form. And it is. All right. So,、um, Because from tomaru and then tomareru. So you can stay cheaply. And otoku ni is really turning this into an adverb, I guess. We've got nihon hasho. Now, this word hasho comes up a few times. Hasho just means the originator or the first thing, okay? So capsule hotel started in Japan. Nihon hasho. Then capsule hotel. All right, so we've got our capsule hotel. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about what a capsule hotel is, but this is really, it's a, it comes from the word capsule, right? So, no setsubi. Okay, now setsubi,、uh, we can translate this word a few ways, but really facilities, okay, or kind of amenities or things which are there. So, this is one, this is the first part of the article. We're going to talk about the, the kind of the setup of a capsule hotel, what you can expect, what, you, what won't be there, what, what kind of、um, things are going to be already there when you arrive, what you might have to bring with you, that kind of stuff.、Um, and then, ryo mana. Okay, now ryo is just really the same as skull, all right, just means to use. Um, and mana, this is a bit of a.、Um, it kind of shows how katakana words get used in Japanese sometimes, but mana, it really it comes from the word manners, but it gets used in Japan to mean like the way you do something. So, ryo mana is the, the way to use it, basically, the, the etiquette, the correct way to do something. All right, so ryo mana. And I remember there was this sign in my school my, when I was in Japan in my, in my classroom. And it said,、um, mana mamoro. All right, so basically,、um, follow the etiquette. All right, very big in Japan, I would say. Okay. 
we see a date, we got 2019年10月26日ですね。So, まあ、1ヶ月前ってことですね。Okay, so we got 日本独自。Now, 独自 is kind of similar to 発祥 kind of, but 独自 means peculiar to. Alright, so 日本独自 basically capsule hotels. I mean, I'm sure now you can find them in maybe a few more different countries. And I know, for example, in like California and some places which have very high housing costs, this type of pod living and、um, stuff is, is taking off a little bit because really renting an apartment is just becoming impossible in some of these places. And so Japan's been dealing with this problem for a while, so they kind of started it. But、uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely around the world. You can find similar things, although probably not quite as extreme as these capsule hotels. And we got shukuhaku shisetsu. All right, now shukuhaku, this word just means accommodation, and shisetsu really just means an establishment or facilities. So, shukuhaku shisetsu, accommodation facilities. All right, it's just a very、um, a generic way to describe the hotel industry, right?、Um, and anything where you've got a room, I mean, Airbnb would come under this as well. Anywhere where people are renting out rooms for a price, really that's shukuhaku shisetsu. Okay, so we're kind of saying、um, it's, you know, no shukaku shisetsu. So, peculiar to Japan's or characteristic of Japan's accommodation, kapseru hotelu ga arimasu. Okay, so we've got a few things in Japan which I would say are kind of unique or characteristic of Japan. One of them would be ryokan, which they mention a little bit. Further down, not in this bit, but they do mention it a little bit later. But ryokan, right? This is our traditional Japanese inn, okay? And we have our kapseru hotelu. I was trying to think of, of other ones. I mean, we, I guess you have love hotels, which are a little bit peculiar to Japan as well.、Um, if you don't know what those are, maybe don't Google them unless you're over 18. But、um, yeah, you've got these kind of things in Japan. And so then we have kapseru hotelu towa. Okay, so here we've got a JLPT grammar point, blah, 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 towa is where we can say, well, As for、uh, if you say capsule hotel, what do you mean? That's really what it's saying. So the to is quoting and the wa is setting up our topic particle. Okay, so we got kapseru no yona. All right, so here we see where the name comes from. So no yona, like similar looking in appearance or similar to kapseru, okay, a,、uh, a capsule.、Uh, then hitori bun. All right, so one person. Space, space ni, beto ga yoi sareta. Okay, now this is a little bit of a tricky grammar point. You can look up, take him on this.、Uh, this, this is called a passive verb. Okay, so yoi is to prepare something. So yoi sareru,、uh, if we're thinking about the plain form, the present tense, it's to be prepared. Okay, speaking in the passive voice. So the idea is that. You know, you're not the one as a customer, you're not the one who's built the hotel or, or built the bed or, or set it up or made the bed or whatever, right? The bed has been made, it's already been prepared for you. Okay, so this is obviously not just capsule hotels, this is pretty much any business. But, yoi sareta, shukuhaku shisetsu. Okay, so it's really saying that there has been something which is prepared, it's not just a bed, but it's a bed inside、uh, a one person space. Okay, basically, like our picture here, we can kind of see the bed in there. All right, so that's you know, that's the, a very simplistic way to describe what it is, but basically covers all the bases. And then, i p p a n t e k i na hoteru. Okay, now, i p p a n t e k i is a general, okay, like a general na, na hoteru. It gets used as an adjective here. So, when、uh, and we see to kurabe. So, when compared to a kind of standard or general hotel, reasonable. So, reasonable, ni tomare mas, again our potential form. Okay, so basically saying, you know, when you compare it to a reasonable,、um, a normal hotel, sorry, it, it can stay for a reasonable price. Now, one thing I'll say is that I thought actually capsule hotels would be a lot cheaper. Considering what you get,、um, you know, <laughs> you don't get much really,、um, and it's not all that much cheaper than staying in a, a, a hotel.、Um, you know, not that much cheaper. And to be honest, after my own experience in a capsule hotel, I probably will never stay in one again. It's not really what I like. I,、um, I find them a bit too cramped, basically. Anyway, so, honkiji. Now,、uh, this is bit, again a bit of advanced、um, usage of Japanese. But when we have hon, nantoka, nantoka, hon just means kono or kore. You know, it's talking about this thing. And kiji. 
this is an article, right? So what we're reading now is an article. So Hong Kiji, it's really saying Kono Kiji. It's just a very um, bit of a formal way to say it. But you can hear other ones, like maybe you guys have heard of the word Honjitsu, which is today. Um, you, you see this all the time, uh, especially in newspaper articles where they um, want to save a little bit of space. Anyway, it's kind of polite as well. So Honkiji Dewa, so in this article, Kapseru Hotel no Setsubi ya Mana ni tsuite Shokai Shimas. Now, Shokai Shimas, we probably know this word from Jigo Shokai, right? So you introduce yourself. And so Shokai Shimas, something's being introduced. What is it? Well, we see ni tsuite, so about, another again, a JLPT set phrase. But we already saw this from the um, the headline because it's Kapseru Hotel no uh, Setsubi, so the kind of the features or the, the facilities you get in a capsule hotel, ya mana. Okay, so we see our etiquette of using, and that I would say that's actually quite important to know the etiquette of capsule hotels because uh, most people know how to deal with a hotel. Capsule hotels are a little bit different, there's a few things you've got to be aware of. Okay, so Nihon Hasho, again, we've seen this before. Now, Yasu Yado, bit of a weird reading for this kanji, to be honest. I mean, a lot of you would probably think you would read this with the uh, uh, onyomi, but. Um, and when I saw this word, actually, to be honest, I was not sure, but for some reason in my head, maybe I've seen the word before, I've looked it up before, but I thought, no, I, you're probably not going to read this as unshuku or unjuku. That just, I don't know, for whatever reason, that seemed weird to me. So I was like, it's probably yasu yado. And maybe it's because this kanji a lot of times gets read as yasu, even in compounds like this. I can't really tell you why I thought that though. All right, so this is actually an interesting picture. This is, if you ask me what does a capsule hotel look like, I probably wouldn't have picked one that looks like this, but they do mention the article because here we got our noren, okay? We got our little curtain. Um, the one I stayed in was kind of more similar to this and you can't really tell from this picture, but my one, uh, it had like a little um, plastic uh, pull down curtain thing that you could, um, to give yourself a bit of privacy. This doesn't look like it has anything, to be honest. That's a bit, that's a bit intense. I would like at least a little, um, little screen or something. Anyway, we've got different types of capsule hotels. This actually looks pretty nice. Anyway, uh, it's Hotel Zen in Tokyo. Okay, so again, Kapsero Hotel Towa, so in regards to this. Hako Gata. Okay, now Hako is a box. Gata is the shape of something. So Hako Gata. All right, again, maybe a bit of... Um, this kanji again tends to get read as kata or gata when it's saying the, the shape of X. Okay, so hakugata no koshitsu, so basically a square shaped. And koshitsu is like an individual room, like a room. Ni hitori no space ga yoe sarete iru shukashitsu. Alright, so we've seen that whole phrase before. Senkyu hyaku nan Alright, so 1979. Ni osaka de. So basically, um, I mean, I don't really know how we say this in English, but it's like during 1979, Osaka de. In Osaka, Sekai Hatsu. All right, so Hatsu, again, a bit of a weird reading maybe for this, but the first in the world, not Kapsel Hotel, hotel Ga. So saying that the, the first capsule hotel, you know, it's really saying Ga is really referring to this whole thing, the first capsule hotel Ga. Kai yo shita koto wo kikake ni. Now, Kai yo, a bit of a tricky word maybe, but. These, these two words we have, I mean, really, this is aku or hiraku, and gyo just really means business. So kai gyo means to start business. So shita koto, so the, the, the act of starting the business, the first one in Osaka, and then o kikake ni. Now, I probably should check this, but this is probably, I would say, a JLPT N3, maybe N4, but I'd say it's probably N3 or N2 grammar. So blah, 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 o kikake ni is starting with X. So starting with the first one that opened up in Osaka, Nihon Kakuchi. So Kakuchi is kind of like individual different areas. So basically Nihon Kakuchi e Hiromari Mashita. So it's spread out. Okay, so it was obviously successful in Osaka. Other people like, hey, let's let's do this in different parts of Japan. So obviously some would probably open up in Tokyo, Yokohama, I don't know, Nagoya, obviously all these kind of big cities. All right. And we see we got this usage of e here right and again if you're not super familiar with air eh, it's again a JLPT grammar point so you know considering the JLPT is uh, less than two weeks or so um, you know you want to be up and up about this type of particles because JLPT will test you on air eh. but air eh just kind of means a 
instead of going directly somewhere, it's just kind of showing that you set off in the direction of something. So it's really saying, well, it just kind of spread throughout Japan. It's not saying, well, it went here first and then there and then there. It's just like, well, from Osaka, it just kind of spread out. Uh, Take Him again has got a great lesson on that in his particles section. Okay. So, reasonable na kakaku dai. So, kakaku dai, a bit of a tricky word. I mean, I would really just remember kakaku, which is price. And there's a website, I think, called kakaku.com, which is some kind of online marketplace. But anyway, and tai is, this is actually obi. It's a belt, all right? So, when you've got your kimono, you've got your obi as well. Um, so, we read it here as tai. And it's kind of saying a price range, right? A price belt. It's like you've got this band, this band, this band of prices. And so, it's in the reasonable price range, okay? De ari nagara. All right, so nagara is while, you know, it's consecutive, I'm not consecutive, sorry, um, concurrent things. So ari nagara, this is from arimas, right? Aru. So we always do the verb stem to connect it to nagara. So ari nagara, so while being in the reasonable price range, security mo shikari shiteiru. Okay, now shikari shiteiru, this is uh, one of these words that I would really recommend you learn for JLPT N4. But security more, so security also, shikari shiteiru. And shikari is like to be like, it means a lot of things, but in this instance, it's like the security is really um, like good quality. It's, it's, it's being seriously done and we'll see why, but basically they've got lockers set up and there's all kinds of things. So it's not just like, you know, a cardboard box outside on the road. There's, uh, there's still a, a front door to the hotel, the capsule hotel that you, and there'll be reception and stuff, so people can't just really walk in um, that way. All right, and then tame, so because of this, shuku haku hi, so this is really the, um, I mean, he is really just expenses, right? It's a fee. So shuku haku hi is the, um, I think the word, the, the, the accommodation charge, I don't know, the, the basically the, the per night cost you have, right? Or osaete, now this is one of these words where it's, comes up a few times, but it's a bit of a tricky word. But osairu is to um, oppress something. And when we talk about price, it means we're pulling down the price, okay? So there, it's like um, the whole point with these capsule hotels is that it's kind of an, it's not really a no frills, but it's, you're not getting the, the whole, a full hotel room to yourself with a bathroom and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's, 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 they can save a lot of costs by having these capsule hotels, and this enables them to push down the price as well. And then anzen na basho, so a safe place. Ni tomari tai, so want to stay. Toki, so when you want to stay in a safe place with a cheap prices. Ni osusume desu. Right now, this is written in katakana. It's actually, a, it's not a foreign word though. It's, it is, um, yeah, it is a Japanese word. Osusume, right? To recommend something. Amenity, right? So amenities. Mo kambi. Now this is a bit of a tricky kanji, but I would say. Uh, if you're like me, I, I actually don't think I've ever seen this word before, but I just know this kanji means to complete something or to finish something. And this is basically, it's from the word setsubi, which we've seen earlier in the article. And originally I learned it in the word junbi, which is preparations. But this means to um, replenish something or to provide something. So kanbi, to me in my head, it's like, well, it just means it's been fully provided for. Okay, so the amenities are fully provided for. And then sarete, so again our passive voice. And then ori, a, um, <laughs> a bit of a humble language here. It's because they're saying, well, the hotel are the ones who've provided it all. And then we kaiteki ni, so kaiteki is comfortable or whatever. So kaiteki ni, sugo semas. Sugo semas, okay. Now this comes from sugosu, which is to spend time or pass time or whatever. And sugo semas is the potential so you're able to pass time. Okay. So, moto moto. So originally, wa. So uh, um, originally, we're talking about the capsule hotels, right? Neru tame dake. Okay. So just for the purpose of sleeping. No, kani tekina shisetsu deshita ga. So originally, this one, you know, that was in Osaka, it was really no frills. I don't really know much about this one, by the way, but it was a very no frills capsule hotel that was very simple, but it was obviously quite cheap. Okay, then we see deshita ga. So it was like this. Ima de wa oshare na design. Okay, so oshare, again, a bit of a tricky word, but this means fashionable or stylish. To be honest, I always thought of this as you'd only use it with clothes. 
that's the only time I've ever heard it, but apparently you can just say it's a stylish design, right? When we're talking about a capsule hotel. I guess we've got some kind of nice ones like these ones we saw before, like this one. This one. I mean, this, this is kind of pretty standard capsule hotel, but this one is, is looking pretty stylish. You've got like lights on the bottom here. Okay. And we see Samurai ya ninja wo tema ni shita. Okay, now this is pretty common. And this is what a lot of hotels in Japan do. They will, um, you know, put them in like a nice theme. So it's kind of an interesting place to stay in. Then kosei teki. Now kosei teki is like individualistic. All right. Kosei is individual. And teki really just means it's, it turns into a, um, I don't want to say this because I don't think it's right, but it turns it into an adjective basically. So, kosei teki na kapsel hotel mo tojo. Now, tojo, this is a word, uh, it's good to remember for both of these kanjis on yomis, but tojo means to appear. Okay, so basically, you know, we, we started off with some no frills ones, but now we have more um, elaborate designs. So, hotel de mo, ryokan de mo. All right, now this is a bit of a, a tricky one because although nai appears only once, Technically, it's actually appearing on the end of hotel, but you don't say it twice, okay? So the nai actually appears both. So it's saying, even in hotels, sorry, not even in hotels, not even in the ryokan, which is what I mentioned before. Oh, that's weird. Um, demo. We got gendai nihon. Now, gendai nihon, gendai is the current day or the present day. So gendai nihon, present day Japan, current Japan. No nizu. Now, nizu, needs, all right? Got a bit of a silent D going on with the katakana, but really the needs of modern Japan ga unda. Okay, so really it's saying we have this problem in Japan where there's not a lot of space, but there's a lot of people and they need somewhere to stay and, um, you know, stay in accommodation temporarily. And so from this problem, that's what unda means, it means to be kind of born from or to grow out of. Um, from this, goku sho no hoteru. And I believe you can read this as something else as well, koku sho or something, kyoku sho, there's two readings for this, but I already read it as goku sho. So goku sho, this, this kanji just means extreme or a lot. So it's really just meaning totemo chisai, all right? Hijou ni chisai. So goku sho no hotel wa, so these really small types of hotels, small rooms really. Honichi kan kokyaku. All right, now a bit of a tricky word here, but honichi means to visit Japan, okay? This is the word to visit, and this is Nihon no Ni. All right, and we can put a lot of words in there to say visit other countries, but anyway, Honi, and then Kanko Kyaku, all right, this is our, our um, uh, tourists. Nimo, so even for tourists visiting Japan, we've got a quote here Nihon rashi taiken ga dekiru. All right, so Taiken is, uh, this is a bit of a tricky word sometimes. Think about we have Keiken and Taiken, all right, be careful with these. Taiken, we can say we've got karada, all right? So this is a physical experience. So it's like Nihon Rashi, or well, Rashi, again, Tae Kim's got a great page on this called Appearances and Hearsay. I'd recommend you read it. But Nihon Rashi is like, like Japan or a Japan-like, Japan-esque thing, Taiken. So a Japan-esque experience, basically a little cramped room, all right? This is what people think of as, as living in Japan. I mean, maybe true in Tokyo and stuff, but it's not how I think of Japan, I've got to be honest, but anyway, gadekiru, okay? So you can have this Japan-esque uh, physical experience. To, kohyo desu. Well, to is just kind of a quoting, and we got kohyo, bit of a fancy word here, but this means highly rated or um, favorable, something like this. Okay, so now we got our heikin shukuhakuryo, so our average accommodation. So ippaku, so one night, one of our counters, right? Or you also a bit of a fancy word, but roughly, nisen kara roksen. Now, I gotta be honest, I would never ever, uh, I don't care how rich I get, there's no there's no way that I'm gonna go stay in a capsule hotel paying 6,000 yen a night. This is like 60 Australian dollars, maybe a bit more. Um, there's no way I'm doing that. Sorry, I'm gonna go stay in a hotel. And then, heikin de, so, um, uh, on average, sanzen hodo des. Now hodo is like to the extent. Okay, so it's saying yeah, it's about three three grand, um, three grand yen, I guess I should say. But yeah, like I said, I paid twenty five hundred yen per night for my one, and that was a few years ago now. All right, 
That's the other thing we've got to be aware of. So we've got danse senor, okay? So danse is, is males and senor is usage, okay? Senor se senor, so female usage. No hotel ni chui, okay? So be careful of this. All right, now this, this happens quite a lot in Japan, so you've always got to be careful of it, but they'll have, you know, separation of the sexes for certain things, particularly for baths, uh, bath houses and hotels, uh, especially capsule hotels. Um, to be honest, I've never ever seen a women's only capsule hotel, and I don't think I've ever seen a unisex capsule hotel ever. The only ones I've ever seen, I mean, I don't really pay that much attention, to be honest, but the only one, the only one, the one I stayed in was a male only, and the ones I've seen have been male only. Anyway. Nihon no capsule hotel no naka ni wa. So again, another JLPT point within Japanese capsule hotels. So if we kind of think of all Japanese capsule hotels around the world, um, around Japan, sorry, and not saying like literally within them, but amongst these things, we've got male use only, female use only, no shisetsu ga animas. Okay. Omo ni, so principally, again, a bit of a fancy word. Omo ni, principally, danse sen yo ga oku tsukurare teiru. Okay, now again, we've got our... Um, this is actually the passive voice, okay? So we've got to be really careful about this because the passive voice and the potential form look exactly the same, okay? When we start dealing with um, raredu, okay? you just got to be a little bit careful with this. Um, they can look the same, I should say, because obviously that, that this is not the potential form, but it, it can be a bit... Um, when you're dealing with actual rue verbs, it can look a bit weird. Anyway, skurare deiru no de. So this means they, they are... Built, all right, and then oku. So mostly, they are built uh, as principally male-only things. No de because of this. Yoyaku no sai. Again, very JLPT N3 or N2 grammar here, but this just means when. All right, yoyaku no toki. Basically, yoyaku no sai. So when you make the reservation, ni. So at the time you make the reservation, shukuhaku kano. So whether you can stay or not, kano just means possible. So shukuhaku. To stay, ga ka. All right. So shukuhaku kano ka. So whether or whether or not you can stay or not, go kakunin kurasai. Please confirm. You know, on the phone or whatever. So danjo dochira mo tomareru basho de wa. So at unisex ones, floor goto. So floor by floor, danse senyo, jose senyo to wakare te All right. So it's split up floor by floor. Bai ga arimas. All right. Very Japanese style thing. All right, now we'll look at the actual setup. So we have kakukoshitsu wa, so in every room, every capture wa, hitori ga nemureru guai no space desu ka? Now, um, this is true. I mean, if we look at this one, this is a, looks like a bit of a small one, but I mean, I'm not exactly a huge guy, but I gotta say, I was on the edge. So if, if, you're, if you're, I mean, I'm not even, uh, I'm not six foot, but if you're six foot, and you, you've got a bit of bulk on you, I don't think you're going to have a very fun time. I got to say, I was, I was pretty much at the limit, and I'm, I'm a very, I would say I'm a kind of a below average uh, height. And so, you know, in Japan, though, that's quite tall, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, I didn't, uh, this is why I would never stay there again. It was, it was all right, but it's, it's a tight fit, I would say. You know, much, you know, much space to roll around in your sleep, let's put it that way. So desu ga. So although it's uh, only a one-person space, we got hitoban. Bit of a weird reading for this, but one night. Sugosu no ni. So this is not the despite meaning of this word. This is, you know, in regards to staying for one night. Hitsuyo na setsubi ga wa totonatte imasu. Okay. So basically saying that you know it's not a complete no frills. There are obviously still amenities provided. But that kyou space, all right. Now this is a shared space, and they had this at the hotel I stayed at, where it, I think it was the ninth floor. So the very top floor of the building was an, was like a little common room. Well, I shouldn't say little; it was a common room, and that was where the bath was, and there was a space to read manga. There was a TV. There was massage chairs. It was actually pretty nice. But we got a shared space, toshite, and then we got dai yoku jo. All right, so this is our. It's our. It's a big bath, all right. Public bath, but this is not an onsen, all right. Onsen is powered by the geysers, right? The volcanoes. Whereas this is, it tells you it's mechanical, right? It's 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 heated by gas or whatever. And sauna or oh, heisetsu. Now heisetsu, this word comes up quite a lot. Bit of a tricky word to be honest. But heisetsu means it's running alongside something. So they've got the these things running in the hotel. Mo arimasu, right? So there's a lot of that. And I'll say like again, like I said, in my hotel, it's like this. 
and jujitsu amenity. Now, jujitsu, this is a, a tricky word to translate. Sorry, jujitsu shita amenity, a bit of a tricky word to translate, but basically it's it's what's been done, okay? So what, what has been provided for you? So according to the hotel, jōkyō wa kotonarimasu ka? It'll, it'll change, of course, but ōku no kapsuru hotel de wa, so at most capsule hotels, Bus towel, face, face towel, night wear, or kakuji ni jumbi shiteimasu, right? So it's provided for everyone. Now we got kyoyu space niwa, so in that common room, sekken, soap, shampoo, um, and we're ace soyin, right? So basically hygiene products, bit of a tricky word, but whatever. Shampoo, again, um, toothbrush, dryer, more arimasu no death. So because there's all these kind of things you can see in this picture, basically. Kaiteki ni sugosemasu. You'll be able to um, kind of stay there comfortably. And I would, I would agree with that. Uh, Internet, I mean, pretty standard fare. We got Wi Fi. We got Fuemashita ga, so it's, it's increased. But Koshiki HEP, so the, the, the public homepage of the, of the hotel. Nado de Jizen, so before staying there. Uh, and we got Umu, alright? So this kanji is arimas, right? Aru, to exist. And this is Nai, or Arimasen, right? To not exist, we read it as umu. So whether it exists or not, kakunin shite, uh, kakunin shite oku. So doing something in preparation, that's what our te oku is. To anjin desu. So if you do this, bef um, if you check this all out beforehand, then you can, um, you know, you'll be able to uh, put yourself at ease. Okay. Shokuji wa kaku hota ni yoru. So again, we've got this word kaku quite a lot. In this thing, but kaku is each, so kaku hotel, each hotel, ni yoru, it depends. All right, now the one I say that didn't have any type of food, you had to, um, you could eat in the common room like they have in this article, but you couldn't buy anything, you had to go to a kombini or something nearby. So, kapsel hotel no oku niwa, so in most, shoku ji ga arimasen, yeah, and that's that's right, that's pretty, pretty much one of the ways they can reduce costs. So, shoku ji wa deki um, desumaseru ka, so you can either, um, Satisfy yourself by eating outside or kombinis, super or ryoshimashō. Okay, pretty standard fare. And we've got mareni, a bit of a fancy word, this one, but this means rarely. Restaurant or heisetsu shitetsu morimasu. Now, I've never seen something like this before for a capsule hotel, but it's kind of saying, well, sometimes they are running a restaurant in the capsule hotel. But it, it kind of defeats the purpose, um, to be honest. They don't normally do it. Okay, so that's the first part of the article over. Okay, so moving into our second part of the article now, we're doing about our mana, all right, our etiquette. Okay, so we got kapseru hotel de no mana, okay? So notice we've got our de and no together, so it's occurring at the capsule hotel, that's what de is doing, and no, because we're saying, well, it's the etiquette of staying in a capsule hotel. So, so again, our sai, our basically means toki. So when using the cups hotel, niwa, again, double particle. Kaki, now this is kind of a very fancy way to say the below written things. Um, this is shita, right? And this is um, shirusu, to write, to basically to record something. And chui shite kurasai, right? So just take notice of it. So oto ni kiyotsukete. Now kiyotsukete to um, take care. So oto ni to take care with the sound. Shizuka ni sugoso. All right. So shizuka ni, so taken from shizuka, which is our na adjective, which means calm or peaceful or quiet. And shizuka ni, it, it basically turns this into an adverb. So quietly. And then sugoso. All right. This comes from sugosu. It's a word we actually had a little bit earlier on in the piece. And sugoso, this is our plain form volitional. Okay. So let's. Um, I was find out how to translate sugoso, but let's pass the time quietly, basically. Let's stay in the hotel quietly. Okay, so shukahaku ga main, all right? Now, main, main, like M-A-I-N, right? So main, and really it just means the principal thing, right? So shukahaku ga main is kind of saying that accommodation is the main thing, which no kop kapseru hoteru, okay? So really, the main thing it does is um, lodging, right? Accommodation. So, nemeturu hito, so people who are sleeping, no meiwaku ni naranai yo. Now, this is a bit of a set phrase in Japanese. It, meiwaku is trouble or burden or this kind of thing, interruption. So, meiwaku ni naru, to become a problem, okay, to become a burden, to interrupt people. So, you'll often see it, meiwaku ni naranai, so to not be a burden. 
and then your, now this is a shortening, it's actually your knee, but because they're joining two, they get rid of the knee. So naronai your ni, uh, I've got a whole video on this, sudo and nara with the knee particle, it's based on taking lesson, pretty much of the same title, but to basically, me waku ni naronai yo, basically you act in a way so as that to not cause disturbances to other people. So that's the first thing. Then oki na oto, so loud sounds, wa uh, tatenai yo ni. So oto tateru, to create sound, basically. So tatenai, to not create sound. Kyotsukemashou, so let's take care. And we got mezamashi doke. Now mezamashi doke is our alarm clock, okay? So um, this comes from me samas, uh, mezamasu. And really it's sameru. So me sameru is to, to wake, to kind of wake up. So me zamasu, it's kind of like the, it's the uh, intransitive, verb, right? To, to kind of, it's not to call someone to wake up, but to be woken up. It, it's always fun how to translate this, but. So because it, the clock is the one waking you up, so it's me zamashi, doke. And kind of contrast this with the word okiru or okimas, and that means to kind of physically get up out of bed. So there's a difference between me sameru and, or me samashi doke and okiru. Okay, a bit of a difference between these words. I really just recommend you look them up in the dictionary and look at some example sentences for what I'm talking about there. So we have chi sameni. Now, uh, this is probably a word you've maybe not a lot of you haven't seen. You would have seen chi sai, which is the e adjective version of this word, but we can also have chi same, uh, which is really a shortening of chi sameru. All right, so to um, I was going to say little one, but that's not really a word. Um, basically, to make something smaller, right? So basically, you turn your alarm clock down. Mata denwa wa suru toki. So when you're going to um, make a phone call, we have kyo yo space ni ido shite kurasai. Now, I want you to notice something here. We had this word kyo yo, and this is like the, the common space. But if, if you pay attention, I'm trying to find where do we have it before? But it was actually, yeah, here we go. It was actually kyo yu space. Now, fundamentally, these words really mean the same thing, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, but I kind of wonder if the um, the person who wrote this, so I think their name is Mayu, if they actually meant to do this, I mean, they are pretty much interchangeable terms, but generally you want to be consistent, I would have thought, to write an article, but just something interesting that I, I, uh, I didn't notice the first time I read this, but when I was looking at it later, I thought, oh, wait a minute, was it always cure your? And it wasn't, it was cure you. Anyway, same thing. So, ido shite kurasai. So, please go to the, the common space. Like I said, for my one, it was at the very top of the building. All right, so this next bit we have is koshitsu de no uh, inshoku kahi wa uh, jizen ni cheku. Okay, so koshitsu de no, so the, in the capsule, inshoku, so eating and drinking, kahi. So, this is really coming, coming from two words. We got kano, which is possible, and um, Kyohi, which is to prohibit something. And so, uh, you know, kahi is like whether or not you can do something. And then jizen ni check, so check before you go to the actual place, right? Go to the hotel. So hotel ni yotte wa, so again, it's kind of saying, well, according to the hotel, it might be different, but koshitsu, now this is really a synonym for kapseru, okay? So the actual capsule itself, your, your room, <laughs> as it were. So inside the capsule, in shoku o kinshi shiteiru. So they ban eating. Now, having stayed in a capsule hotel, I don't think I would ever even consider eating inside the inside the capsule itself. It's it's there's not much room in there to be honest. Um, and that's the kind. Of, this is the kind of the problem with capsule hotels, which it doesn't really mention in this article. I got to say, um, but. Uh, you just got to remember, you're in a very small cramped space inside a capsule hotel. And I was in it for a week, by the way. Um, and by the end of that week, it, it has a bit of a smell, all right? I mean, I'm not exactly the most uh, smelly guy in the world, but in that kind of a cramped space, you're going you're gonna to leave some residue of uh, smell in there. So I definitely wouldn't want to be eating in there and leave even more smell anyway. So more animas. I would really say I've, I don't think I've, there's any capsule hotels where you're allowed to actually eat in the capsule. And yeah, if the staff catch you doing it, they're they're gonna tell you off. So jizen ni kakunin suru ka. So either confirm beforehand or kyo your space. All right. So again, our common room de 
shokuji o toru yo ni shimashou. Now again, like I said, I've done a whole video on this suru and naru with the ni particle, but ni shimashou or ni suru is really saying make a choice, all right? So make a choice to do what? Shokuji o toru yo, all right? So make it so that you take your meal or you have your meal kyo yu, uh, well, kyo yo spesu de in the common room. Okay, really the only thing going here we have azukero, which is to um, deposit something, so put it in there. So, kakukoshitsu no iriguchi ni wa, so at the entrance to each um, capsule, doa ya noren ga arimasu. Now, noren, I already pointed this out in the earlier picture with that Zen Tokyo, whatever it was, place. It's the little curtain, okay? And when you go to like an izakaya or a Japanese restaurant, they'll often have this noren hanging in front of the, the entrance as well. And I didn't really have a door either, and I didn't. I don't think I really had a knot in. I had a plastic curtain, I guess. Um, I'm trying to even remember what it was, but it was kind of like a roller door, I guess, if I had to describe it. Okay, so we'll have these things in front. Kagi ga kakarimasen. Okay, so kagi ga kakaru to to lock something, right? Okay, so kagi ga kakarimasen. You, you can't lock it. It doesn't lock. Sono tame. So because of this. There's, you know, the problem is you can't leave stuff in the capsule, really. So, kapseru hotel no oku wa, so most capsule hotels, and again, my one was like this as well. Kyo yo space ni, and it wasn't in the kyo yo space, by the way, but um, whatever. Ni roka o oitari, so oitari, oku, this comes from the, the verb oku, which is to place something, okay? So, they'll place some lockers, kind of like this, in the in some, somewhere in the capsule hotel. For me, it was actually in... I'm trying to remember now, but I think it was in the, the basement. So you'd enter through the lobby, you had to go down a flight of stairs, and then your lockers were there, uh, which, you, which you, you could open and close. Whereas this one, it was saying it's in the cure your space, but whatever, I'm sure it's different. And we have coin rocker, okay? So, the, you know, we again, we have our word heisetsu, because it, it's kind of implying the coin lockers um, are not run by the, the capsule hotel itself, okay? Because they're coin lockers, they're, they're, co they're costing money, whereas you were kind of in expect it to be included in the price. So that's what the, the rock guy is. These are the free ones. So, you know, that's what came with uh, when I used the capsule hotel. I got a, um, a key as well that I could access my locker with and I just kept my, my, my luggage in there. Um, and then, yeah, there were coin lockers outside the building somewhere. I never used them though. So, so we have our tardy, tardy. Okay, so sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like that. And then we have all kina ni mots, right? So this is really talking about our, our luggage, our, our really big luggage, not just a small bag or something. So you put in the coin locker, mata wa, so o hotel no fronto. Now, again, you, the whole point of a capsule hotel is you don't have a whole lot of space in the whole building, all right? It's it's not like they, um, yeah, they don't have a whole lot of space. That's why it's a capsule hotel to begin with. So there's probably not a whole lot of room to leave your stuff in the, in the hotel's La fronto. This is the concierge's desk, by the way. It's the actual reception area. Uh, this is the job I used to have, fronto. I was working in a, not in a capsule hotel, in a normal hotel. Normal hotel. A bigger hotel, we'll say. Uh, anyway, but you can't really leave it there long term, so you're better off probably just finding a coin locker or something. And then we see um, azuke, so leave it there. Otherwise, tsuro. So this is our um, aisle. This would be the tsuro, okay? This black part here. And and then you can't really see it, but it'll be this part here as well. Tsuro. All right, you hear this a lot when you talk about planes and st and theaters and stuff. You've got the aisle which you can walk down. This is the tsuro. All right, so we got our makayo ro. All right, our road which you can commute down. Yeah, koshitsu. So the room no mae ni wa okanai yo ni shimashou. Okay, so exact same grammar as we just saw. But okanai yoni, all right? So you're not allowed to put stuff in front of your capsule, okay? So you're not allowed to put anything in this area, okay? You've really got to leave this free because this is what everyone's going to be uh, walking down, okay? So kapseru hotel wa konna hito ni osusume, all right? So konna hito, this type of person. So as you probably already guessed, I wasn't a super big fan of capsule hotel. I really just tried it out because I thought, hey, it might be, it might be fun, and it was cheap, and I was a student back then, so I was on a kind of a limited budget. I thought, great. And the the, the thing again, which this um, article doesn't really mention, is one of the big benefits of staying in a capsule hotel is that because they're, they're such a small, efficient building, really, um, they can hold so many people. 
they can be put in very convenient locations. So normally if you want to stay in a hotel which is in like the center of Tokyo or something like that, it's going to be pretty pricey because real estate is so pricey. But it means capsule hotels, like this is why I stayed in the one I did in um, Sapporo, like Susukino is like the one of the main um, night nightclub, night spot areas, like all the bars and stuff are all there. So I wanted to be able to go out, you know, hang out with my friends and do stuff and then come back to my capsule without having to get a taxi or something like that. So that, that's one reason. It's not in this article, but that's definitely one thing. It's They're generally in kind of convenient central locations. But this article is going to say more like what type of person it's it's good for, also submit. All right, so last little bit. So we got hitori tabi. All right, so this is what I was doing, uh, a one-person travel there. Shugaki o yasuku o saetai. So people who basically want to travel on the trip, on the ch on the cheap, this is me. Shikashi dormitori style. Okay, so I would think of this as a yusu hostel. Okay, um, youth hostels, uh, are, there's lots of them in Japan. They're, they are pretty cheap as well, but you're going to have to end up sharing rooms, all right, like a dormitory. So you're going to have bunk beds and there's going to be, you know, five in a room or whatever. And I never really liked um, youth hostels for that reason. Um, so anyway, so nigate nakata. So people who don't like uh, youth uh, dormitory style, so like me, niwa pittari. All right, now pittari, this is a word similar to that word shikari we had earlier. Pittari means it matches perfectly. Okay, so when you put like a shape inside a, the correct shape hole, <laughs> right, it'll be pittari haida. Um, haita. Okay, and that's what it is, right? So it matches with the person. All right, and I'm in into more jujitsu steiru no de. So again, this word jujitsu, it's jujitsu. It's like, it's it, it's 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 kind of been fully. I, I was really thinking about how to translate this word, and I, I couldn't think of a good one. But jujitsu means it's 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 available, and it's. It's it's fully available, I guess is how I would explain it. So amenity mod juju setting on death. So basically everything you need, you know, toothbrush, shower, bath, towels, everything you really need is is at the capsule hotel. So totsuzen no shukahaku ni mo benni des. Now totsuzen is sudden, okay? So totsuzen no shukahaku is like, okay, just you just need somewhere to stay. And uh, in fact this is what happened with me when I was in um, Sapporo because I hadn't booked my hotel. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a travel by the seat of my pants kind of guy. So I just arrived, I went there by train and I arrived in the morning at like 6am and just walked around Sapporo for a bit. And then I, um, I eventually asked someone, Hey, what's the cool part of Sapporo? And they said, Tsukino. So I went over there and then I said, Oh, there's a, there's a capsule hotel. It was cheap. So I went with it. That's, that's about the extent of my planning. I would say, don't do what I do, by the way. Um, make sure you plan things properly. It's much, it's much, le much less stressful. Anyway, but we see that. All right, and then there's kind of that other reason I said, which is, well, you get to be very central. Okay, so mata cafe. All right, so cafe to heise study. All right, so they mentioned this before. Sometimes they're with restaurants. Waku space. Okay, so this is quite popular, particularly in Tokyo and Osaka, um, that you have these workspaces where it's it's kind of like a cafe or a restaurant, but it's got proper tables that you can put your laptop on or whatever, and it's got PowerPoint so you can charge, and it's got all kinds of stuff. So it's it's for people who are like entrepreneurs and, or, you know, meeting people, you can just, you don't have to, um, you know, uh, it's just an easy way to meet people in a kind of a professional setting rather than just going to a cafe. So, yoi saretari, stylish de concept no aru, she says mo fuemashita. Okay, so they're just kind of saying, well, remember when they talked about it happening in 1979, it was a very no frills, basic, cheap accommodation. And now there's been, a, you know, more people have come into the space and made them a bit more stylish, added on a few more uh, fringe benefits and stuff that maybe you can still get all the kind of things that you want uh, while still not paying much because it's a capsule hotel in the end and you just got amenities nearby. And I'm not sure I would say this. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of negative about it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so negative about it. I, in the end, it wasn't that bad. Um, I think the main problem was I stayed in it too long. It really, capsule hotels, I think more than two or three days, uh, I, I think it gets a bit much. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, um, you're very close to a lot of people. I mean, you're kind of used to that in Japan, but anyway. Um, I'm glad I did it. 
don't get me wrong, but um, like I said, I'll probably never do it again. Okay, all right guys, that's uh, it from me. I hope this article helped you out. Definitely a bit of a tricky one, but keep studying those words, uh, study a lot of that grammar, and you too will be able to read one like this, just like me. Okay, uh, I run Japanese lessons, so if this article interests you, but you'd like to read more like it, or practice and um, study how to get good at Japanese so you can read articles like this, please contact me with the details you see on screen. I'm available uh, online for online lessons, and they're very similar to what you see now, and uh, I'm sure I can tee up a time with you, and you can just pay online through PayPal, something like that. And we can do weekly lessons, we can do daily lessons. Uh, I've got quite a few online students who I give lessons to. And, uh, you know, you can hear me just as you can hear me now. It's just live. That's really the, the big difference. So I would really recommend those lessons. I think they're great. Uh, I have a lot of fun in those lessons. We go through a lot of different materials. And in the end, uh, my students learn Japanese, which is hopefully what you want to do as well. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.